So right here I'm looking at the uh, rear carrier for uh, Dana 44 uh, TJ Rubicon rear axle. So I'm going to be taking this carrier out and just documenting that process. I have a similar video for the front. It's a pretty similar process, just a few minor differences. Um, but basically all I've done right now, I took off the cover. There are 10 of these um, half inch bolts. And then there is a silicone gasket which I scraped off with a rubber scraper. And then the only other little thing is unplug this uh, air hose. You just pull up on it right there. And I'm going to leave this for now. I obviously caught all the fluid that drained out. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is jack it up and put it on jack stands. And then remove the uh, wheels and tires. The tires off. There are two half inch slide bolts, one and one, on the back of the caliper. And then you should be able to just get the caliper off. And we don't want it to just dangle. So I'm going to set it down uh, somewhere where it's not like um, taut. So we're not stressing the brake line. The rotor then pulls right off the stud. It is a little difficult. Um, but... With a couple of wax and hammer you can get it and so now we've got this hole and we can rotate uh, the axle and find there are four bolts that we're gonna undo these are uh, the nuts that I was talking about I could get them off with a deep weld 9 16 once these are off you can just pull the uh, axle shaft right out um, so I'm just gonna be careful not to get it too dirty I'm gonna clean it before I go back in um, but yeah that's pretty easy here this is a good time to adjust the uh, parking brake if need be so there's a little hole you can see right there underneath the axle tube and you stick a flathead screwdriver through I'll try to show you guys kind of like this and there's a little star wheel I'll show you while it's exposed so there's a little star wheel right there my pinky's pointing at it and anyway so you're gonna basically the tip of your screwdriver should be moving uh, downwards so you should be pulling up on the end of the screwdriver tip of the screwdriver going down and do it a couple turns uh, same on each side and should adjust the parking brake. Now we're ready to take the carrier out. So these are three quarter inch bolts. Um, but so when we take them out, we want to be make sure that they go in the exact same place. So I have basically a label thing and put them down on. So I know like top right bolt, uh, bottom right bolt, etc. Um, and so same thing, we want the bearing caps to go in on the same side and in the same orientation, um, etc. And then there will be shims that might fall out. So be careful for those. They're kind of on the edges. Uh, so once we get these four bolts out, it sometimes comes out easy, sometimes requires a little screwdriver effort to pry it out, but the whole carrier will come out, it's pretty heavy, uh, just be warned. We've got the toothpick here in the locker sensor to hold it in the open position while we put the carrier back in. Uh, so again, we're going to put the carrier back in, taking note of the orientation and placement of the bolts, uh, and then bolt them back in with some Loctite and two 80 foot pounds. Installing this, put Loctite on the nuts and tighten to 45 foot pounds. Rotor and caliper slide on and you torque the sl uh, slide mounting bolts to 12 foot pounds. So we installed a lube locker gasket and then we're torquing everything to uh, 30 foot pounds, all these 10 bolts. So now it's time to fill the differential with two quarts of 75W140 gear oil. Uh, I got these squeeze bags which are easy because I don't have to use a bottle pump. Uh, another thing, so since I've rotated my axle, uh, I bought a differential cover with a high pinion fill hole. So you don't just fill it up to the hole, make sure you actually add two quarts. And if you're struggling to get it all in without it pouring out, you can either lift the axle, park on a downhill, or um, try to fill it through the uh, drain vent here. I was just able to get two quarts in without it spilling uh, with it like this, with the high pinion fill hole. And then we're going to torque these fill hole bolts to 30 foot pounds.